Hello ladies and gents, welcome to another Game Shed video with me, Jamie. Today I will be playing a Game Boy Advance game, Mario Kart Super Circuit. This game is an utter treat and in my opinion, feel free to uh, flame me if needed in the comment section below, but one of the finest in the Mario Kart series. Now this is actually the first ever outing on a handheld system of the Mario Kart series, of which there's been a number now. Um, obviously Mario Kart 7 and uh, Mario Kart on the DS, both great games, but this plays so amazingly. You retro gamers out there will obviously be diehard, or hopefully be diehard fans of Super Mario Kart on the 16-bit Super Nintendo. Now this game is on a 32-bit system, uh, the Game Boy Advance. It's sort of halfway, um, not just in terms of uh, power of the system, but in terms of sort of development and gameplay, this game is halfway in between Super Mario Kart for the SNES and Mario Kart 64 on the Nintendo 64. It's beautiful to look at. It's it's like a, a sort of very very polished Super Mario Kart, um, just with some of the nice features of the N64 version, such as the the 3D floating prize item boxes and whatnot. This game was actually made in 2001. It's quite an achievement for a handheld. Uh, it's, it's bright, it plays very very quickly indeed. Um, the, you probably won't get the most out of it playing it on a Game Boy Advance unfortunately because the screen, um, again in my opinion, is so poor. Uh, your best bet is either to whack this in a Game Boy SP, which has got a backlit screen. It's also a little bit nicer to hold in your hands if you've got bigger hands. Uh, it, it's not too bad or you can whack this in the bottom of a Nintendo DS which has got a Game Boy Advance port in it um, I tend to play this on the original Nintendo DS which unfortunately for me the button spacing actually tends to hurt my hands after uh, using it for quite a while it's, it's a smaller model, buttons are closer together, it's just a bit fiddly if you ain't got tiny hands. Now, how is this for value for money? This game has a total of 40 raceable tracks. Uh, and there's also an additional number of battle circuits, if you like, the battle mode of this game, uh, which I know a lot of people do. It is quite enjoyable if you've got a couple friends around. Um, 40 courses, 16 of which are immediately playable. Um, there's an additional 4 that you can unlock uh, by just completing the normal uh, racing game. And then there are extra tracks from Super Mario Kart which can be unlocked later. Now what features do we have in this game? We have the usual suspects in terms of weaponry. So if you go over one of the question mark boxes, you pick up a prize. Those prizes are helpful in two ways. There are items which help you defend and items which help you attack. Now I'll go through the prizes quickly. There is a banana. A banana can be thrown down and it will uh, make anyone spin out who hits it. There's a green shell which can be f it's a type of missile kind of that you can fire in a straight line either forwards or backwards by holding uh, the back or down button while pressing the fire button. There's the red shell. Now this is a homing missile. There's a mushroom, which is in effect a boost, a turbo. There's a triple green shell, which lets you fire off three of those straight line missiles. 
there is a triple red shell which lets you fire off three homing missiles as well there is a star the star gives you gives your character invulnerability for a short amount of time so you can generally just ride through anyone causing them to spin out and you can also avoid anyone's attack such as an attack of a red shell on you it will have no effect whatsoever there is a ghost which you if you activate it you can steal somebody else's item from them and you'll become invisible which also makes you immune to oncoming attacks as well there is also a what's called a spiny shell which is if you know Mario Kart very well it is the blue shell which you'll only ever get if you're down in one of the lower places uh, in the race you fire the shell and it will make its way all the way to position number one where it will take out the race leader um, there is also a thunderbolt thunderbolts are obtained also when you're in one of the lower ranking places when you click the fire button you will shrink everyone on the track causing them to be really small and really slow you can then drive over them causing them to spin out very very useful now believe it or not this game does actually feature a multiplayer mode you may have seen it at the beginning on the menu screen this can be reached by getting a friend who has a Game Boy Advance, getting a link cable which connects the two systems and owning a single copy of this game. Now when you turn it on with everything connected it will give you the multiplayer option. This lets you play with up to an additional three Game Boy Advances on the one cartridge so that's four Game Boy Advance systems on one cartridge enabling you to race your three buddies over four different circuits those circuits are from the Super Nintendo the Mario Circuit 1, Donut Plains 1, Ghost Valley 1 and Bowser Castle 1 now you'll only be able to be uh, Yoshis so uh, player 1 will be a green Yoshi player 2 will be a pink Yoshi player 3 a light blue Yoshi and player 4 a yellow Yoshi now the number of characters the colors of the characters and the limited number of courses shouldn't detract from trying out this mode whatsoever because it's utterly phenomenal and uh, you've got to think this was back in the day before Wi-Fi and internet connections were just you know part and parcel of everyone's mobile gaming device um, a phenomenal feat and one you really really need to try very funny um, so yeah do it multiplayer Mario Kart Super Circuit action 32 bit colourful mayhem if you like So with that information, I've uh, got plenty more to say on the game, but I've done an entire GP, it was only on 100cc, it does get harder, um, if you wish to make it harder obviously there is also an easier option if you select 50cc, uh, but as you can see here I have won, I have been ranked D, that is because I was pretty poor at it, I didn't win the last race, I didn't collect loads and loads of coins, and that's what you need to do in order to achieve a higher ranking and unlock other courses so my name's Jamie and this is the games shed so please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and click the subscribe button we've got loads of competitions coming up for you subscribers and uh, pop on over to our website thegameshed.com where you can find loads and loads of interesting retro items we are on Twitter as well at gameshed come join us join the party so until next time see you later